Hi, and welcome to lesson four in our electrons unit. Here we're going to continue our discussion of electron configurations by looking at a different way to represent electrons, what's called the Lewis dot diagram. Again, here's carbon shown as a Bohr diagram and then carbon represented as a Lewis dot diagram. Let's take a look and see how this works. Lewis dot diagrams are named after this gentleman here, Gilbert Newton Lewis, who is a famous American chemist who did most of his work at the beginning part of the 20th century. A Lewis dot diagram just shows an atom's valence electrons. And valence electrons turn out to be really the only electrons that are involved in chemical bonds. So if we want to investigate how atoms bond, we really don't need to worry about the kernel electrons almost ever. All we ever need to worry about are the valence electrons. All we're going to show in a Lewis electron dot diagram is the symbol for the nucleus, which is going to represent both the nucleus and all of the kernel electrons. And then we're going to represent the valence electrons as dots. That's what goes into a Lewis electron dot diagram. It's a very common way of representing atoms, particularly when we start looking at atoms interacting with other atoms through chemical bonds. Let's see how this works by doing all of the Lewis dot diagrams for the elements in period two. Why don't you try it on your own first? Pause the video, give it a shot, and then when you're ready, let's go through it together. So here they are. You can see that in each case, I've taken the symbol of the element and written it down, and then represented the number of valence electrons that the element has as dots around that symbol of the element. You can see that starting at lithium, we have one dot, and then we go up in number, increasing by one dot as we get all the way to the end of the period with neon, which has eight dots. That's really it. That's how we do Lewis electron dot diagrams. But let's talk about some advanced considerations for dot diagrams. Technically, dot placement is supposed to start with the first two dots on top, and then moving clockwise around the atom with the rest of the dots. For us, I don't actually really care about that. All I care about is that you have no more than two dots on any side of the element symbol in your dot diagrams. Of course, I'm me, so student beware if you're watching this and you have a different teacher. Finally, I'll point out that your dot diagram should never ever have more than eight dots. There's no point on the periodic table where an element has more than eight total electrons in its valence electron level. Because of that, if you find yourself doing a dot diagram and putting down more than eight dots, something has gone horribly, horribly wrong. You're making a mistake. You need to stop, pause, re-examine what you've done, and fix it. I'm telling you this now because someone is going to forget this. I promise you. Don't let it be you. It's a silly mistake to make. Thanks so much for watching our discussion of Lewis electron dot diagrams. Please make sure you can do the following here at the end. Make sure you can represent an atom as a Lewis dot diagram. If I give you any element on the periodic table with a basic electron configuration, you should be able to represent that atom as a dot diagram. Also make sure that you can explain why dot diagrams are a useful shorthand for representing atoms most of the time. Why don't we care about the kernel all that often when we're considering how atoms bond with each other? Finally, make sure that you can identify valid and invalid Lewis dot diagrams so that you don't wind up being the kid who puts down a dot diagram with 10 dots or who puts more than two dots on the side. If you can do each of those things, you're doing great. If not, that's okay too. Take a moment and write down any questions that you have. You can always leave them in the comments below the video or get in touch with me through the information in the info field. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.